Today we're going to be taking a quick look at this summer's Creator 3-in-1 sets. We've got the Space Roller Coaster, an updated exotic parrot with new colors, and also the Main Street Mini Modular Buildings. Of course, they all have three different build options which are actually displayed on the back of their boxes. Me personally, I always just stick to the main build. I find it's the most complete. So that's the ones that we're going to be having a look at today. The smallest of the three sets is the Exotic Parrot with 253 pieces. It retails for 20 US dollars. You can build a frog, fish, or parrot. I always find building animals out of Lego to be quite enjoyable. There's lots of different interesting part usage and also snot techniques just to create the body and get them uh, shaped correctly. Yeah, this one's pretty colorful. I don't think it's my favorite animal build, but it's pretty small. The tail can articulate there. Uh, the wings can articulate a little bit, and it can also spin on its little perch as well. The base of it is a large circular green plate, and then we have the flowers branching off the little perch or tree that it's sitting on there, and there's also some of the uh, limb elements as well. And you can see it's feet are just sort of clamped onto this branch. Overall, it's it's an enjoyable build. It's nothing crazy. I guess it'll look good with the other Creator 3-in-1 animals, like the tiger, and sort of matches those ones. I haven't collected a huge amount of these, but I don't know. I just think it's pretty interesting. It's relatively affordable. It's very colorful, and I guess you have the two different color options now. It's a good display piece. It uses some interesting building techniques. Overall, it's fun to put together. And it's a reasonable price point, so not too bad. The three different versions of Main Street actually look pretty good. I guess this tower is sort of tall and skinny. And this one here is just sort of a more condensed version. But honestly, it doesn't look like it uses all of the pieces that you can find in the main version. And that's generally why I stick to building just the main version, just because I feel like it uses a larger percentage of the pieces, because it's the main version that's displayed on the box art. So I just think that this one here is the one to go with. Although it's really neat that you have the option and the three different instruction manuals. So if you do want to change it up and try something different, then you have the flexibility of doing that. This set comes with six minifigures, which is not too bad. On the far right here, we have a gentleman in a wheelchair with a mountain shirt next to a barista. And then this lady here is part of a rock band. She's got her drumsticks and some blue hair and a nice looking uh, torso and also some nice print detailing on her legs as well. I like this torso with the record on the shirt and this young lady here has some fruit on her shirt and I think this is probably my favorite minifigure of the bunch. It just looks really nice and he's sort of got like some metallic sort of print detailing on his uh, vest there and I just like his beard and glasses. Yeah, not too bad. There's only two alternate faces and that is found on these two ladies right here. Just sort of with their eyes shut and the one on the right there looks like she might be singing. So this build is actually split into four different sections. We have the cafe, a record store, music store, and then also a hotel. I enjoy the cafe's color combinations with the nougat and black and also the sideways mounted windows there. Also the coffee cup and the donut logo and then we transition into the turquoise color up top. There's also some nice vegetation creeping up the side of the building there, and then also this little tree just above that archway. We've got a solar panel up top here and lots of windows. You see a window on the side there, and I actually like the way that these windows are covered up there. Pretty simple technique, but it definitely gets the job done and looks pretty good. There's also another window there, and we come around back, uh, you can see some of the interior details. Very compact, there's just a basic desk there. Also a little bookshelf with a camera and a plant on top. And the cafe is very compact. You got uh, some like green inside that arch there, some leaves, but the barista can barely fit behind the uh, counter there to make us an espresso. We do have a couple uh, espresso machines there and also a countertop. And then right here you can see there is a ladder on the side of that wall there. Overall, it's a very compact cafe. I really like the look of the record store. Just there's something about the colors, the yellow and the orange, the way the windows are framed with those modified one by twos, and then these like modified one by ones on either side of them. 
just looks really good. Then we have our little logo up top there, which is a record. And on the roof, there's actually a little uh, stage set up. So you got some speakers, a set of drums, and then some lights that are built using the four-sided snot bricks. It's basic, but I like it. And the drums are pretty cool, the way you can position your minifigure on there. Not too bad in the interior. Nothing too crazy going on. There's just a record player. And then there's a couple crates there with some tiles inside. And all three tiles are actually printed, which is quite nice. So that's something I've noticed about Creator 3-in-1 sets is they don't come with sticker sheets. So although Creator 3-in-1 buildings have an open back so you can see the interior details, they are also modular in the sense that the floors will pop off and also the roofs. I forgot to point that out with the little cafe. This can all come apart, which is pretty neat. Use some of the modified one by four plates there. And the record bins are actually created using some reddish brown window frames. This is the music store. I like the awnings going over the window and door. In between that, we've got some printed keyboard pieces and then also a printed sign out front here as well. There's just some nice color combinations there. And then we move up to the nougat in black has these same window coverings there as well, or like the awnings going over top of the windows. Then some dark orange, and this roof looks really nice with the dark blue and white. Some great part usage there just to jazz it up a bit, right? Jazz up the music store, and then the roof has those like modified one by one pieces on the top as well. I really like the look of this one. The interior, once again, it needs some work. There's just a few things in there, nothing too crazy. There's actually a recording room, which I like. I like having these mounted on the wall there and also like the window glass and then the uh, microphone and the little uh, seat and then just a little computer up top here with another print piece mounted to the wall. So there we have the music store. The tallest of the four structures is the hotel, and I really like the look of this one here. There's just so much nice texture and color down here. We have some tan masonry bricks and some snot-mounted ingot tiles. Those blue windows look really good, and they're found all over this thing here. They're really well framed as well with the turquoise modified 1x2 plates with the slide, and they're actually sideways mounted. And we also have these nice candlesticks here in gold running uh, all the way from the base on either side of the door all the way to the top where we have this large rounded piece. There's actually, well, it's split into four different pieces. But yeah, the way that these windows are treated are, is really nice with the turquoise slides and those actually go right up to the hubcap that sort of frame those windows. Yeah, really good color combination. I even like the white and dark blue and that matches the sign as well and then just the gold accents and also you got like the light blue and the turquoise and on the very top we've got some of the uh, curved slopes there and just does a great job of sort of capping off the building. I sort of want to get like another one of these and make it an actual hotel in the Lego City or maybe I could use all of these structures as designs for buildings that could go in the amusement park because I've been meaning to create some amusement park buildings and maybe I could get another one of these and sort of reference this stuff and put these in the amusement park. It is definitely an idea. And there's also all these dark blue flags that are held in place by all the gold elements and that just sort of makes this hotel look really neat as well. I don't know if my Lego City needs another hotel is the issue, right? Because I have the triple boutique hotel right over there which I custom built using sort of the instructions as reference and then of course there are some interior details nothing too crazy there is a nice bathtub there on the top floor beside a very small bed a desk and then a corner desk in the window and another one of those small beds and then just like a little countertop down here along with a little armchair and a light going over top of that armchair but it's a nice corner build too I like the angle that we have here for the front door and the windows. So it's a really nice facade that you could definitely reference to build something pretty impressive for the LEGO City. So this one here comes with six minifigures, 1,459 pieces, and has a suggested retail price of $140. I guess it's not too bad because there's a lot of like windows in this set. Like look at all the windows and doors. So there's some really good pieces in this set, and I think it could be used as source material to create some pretty neat looking modular buildings in a Lego city. The parts from the space roller coaster can build this drop ride. That's a pretty neat looking space shuttle right there. And then also a UFO sort of spinning ride. 
And then the best one, which of course is the roller coaster. This set comes with six minifigures. On the right, we have two female astronauts. Then these two uh, children here with space torsos, of course, classic. And look at their face. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a roller coaster. And this guy's like, oh, I went on the roller coaster one too many times. And then our sixth minifigure is the little tiny baby spaceman. And he's on this little rocket ride. The alternate faces are just big smiles. And the astronaut comes with this white and gold mask as well with like the oxygen tanks on the back. And the little tiny space shuttle ride is operational as well. You just spin this gear back here in a continuous motion and it'll rock back and forth. We've seen this building technique in different sort of rocket ship rides as well, but I like the space shuttle on this one. It's just pretty well put together, and of course it's got flames coming out the back. So this set comes with 874 pieces and retails for 110. It's got all sorts of amazing little details and miniature builds found throughout the entire roller coaster track, which is actually quite large. I was surprised by the size of it. It's actually big and it's very durable as well, making it really easy to move around. I'm going to show you the mini details in a moment here, but first let's check out what we all came here to see. The roller coaster going around the track. Now it's not continuous, so it can't keep going and going and going. And there is no power function, so the only way you can make this thing operate is if you use your hand and sort of bring it to the top there like I am doing right now. It's got a moving function, which is actually really neat. Look at this asteroid as the roller coaster car flies by it. Yeah, it like slingshots forward because it just gets caught on this mechanism right here, causing that to move forward. It's got the rock element and also a flame piece. So I thought that was pretty cool. All sorts of miniature builds all over this thing. Right here, we've got a larger asteroid with some larger flames. And the neat thing about the asteroid is that it actually has a light brick built right into it. And when I push the front of it, it's going to do a great job of lighting up the back end and also those large flames. And then also this planet here with the ring, a massive, well, not massive, but a decent size Saturn V. I was actually surprised by the size of this thing. It's nice how you have that thing taken off right in the center of the roller coaster. On the base over here, there is a Mars rover. It's a nice little mini build. Then we have our space sign that features another space shuttle. And the nice text there in white with the blue background. And then over here we have planet Earth. I believe that represents planet Earth. And then a space habitat right here where we've got our astronaut. And there's some plants growing on the top of it there. You can actually lift this dish element up like that there to reveal the plants within, but you can see them through the transparent dish element as well. There's a satellite off the side there, a little flag over there, and you can actually open this up and check out the interior of the little space habitat where I've positioned our other astronaut. Beyond that, there's not a whole lot of detail in there, but it looks really good from the exterior. Right there, we've got an alien coming out of the rocks. And that's right below the camera, which will take uh, a picture, of course. And then there is a little propeller right there as well. The cars are decently detailed as well. They represent like a little rocket ship. And I like the engine boosters coming off the one on the back there. Once again, the base construction is quite strong. It's mostly just brick and plate. There is some Technic mixed in there as well. And you'll notice these little one by one circular tiles. Those are glow in the dark. And we have the towers going up right here to support the track at different heights and all sorts of rock as well. So there's some nice added detail to the base and it's really strong. Like I can pretty much pick this up with one hand and move it around, which actually surprised me. I don't have any Lego Creator 3-in-1 roller coasters, so I'm pretty happy to have this one here in the collection. However, I'm not sure if there's going to be space to put this in the amusement park anywhere. Like, where would I put this? The amusement park is already pretty cramped. This isn't a power function ride, so you wouldn't be able to power it up. But I still think it might look good in like a kid's area in an amusement park somewhere. And I can't decide if I want to try and fit it. Odds are there's probably not enough room. Because let's face the fact, this amusement park is already pretty full. I don't think there's any space back there uh, by the mixer and carousel. 
And there's definitely no space in front of the Disney castle because I don't think that would look very good if it's the first thing you see when you walk into an amusement park. I guess if I were to try and fit this in my amusement park, I'd probably have to go with the drop ride as it looks like it takes up the least amount of space. But honestly, I just don't think that looks complete enough to be part of my amusement park. So there we have the new Creator 3-in-1 sets coming out this August. This is a pretty neat roller coaster. Honestly, if I had space to put it in my amusement park, I probably would just because I think it's the best roller coaster of this size. With that said, I haven't owned any of the other ones. I think there was like a pirate one as well. Uh, this is just a nice little build with some interesting colors and building techniques. And you actually have the two different options to choose from now. And then this can be upgraded and added to a Lego city. And I can't decide whether or not I'm going to do that. Either way, I think that these sets are good for what they are. And if you want to try some different building techniques, I would recommend it. Or if you want to add something to your amusement park or your city or just your animal collection, well, then there you go. You've got a nice affordable option with the parrot. And you've got a pretty neat looking roller coaster and also a series of modular buildings that could be added to your Lego city. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And farewell.